It's a harsh reality. As we age, we lose bone density. More than 50 million Americans are affected by osteoporosis. Loss of bone mass starts around age 30, with many women seeing a dramatic drop coinciding with the change of life. But this condition impacts both sexes. It does. There's two main types of osteoporosis. The first type is, occurs in postmenopausal women. The secondary type is also called senility, uh, or affects older people, mainly over 70 years old, and it affects men and women. Some experts call osteoporosis a silent thief, slowly sapping bone strength. In the process, brittle bones make us more likely to suffer breaks and fractures. While supplementing is a common option, many people would be well served by getting proactive. The other things that can be done are weight-bearing exercises, such as uh, walking, uh, diet uh, can be helpful as far as eating yogurt and milk and things that have high calcium content. Recent research took it a step further, looking at hopping, jumping for two minutes a day. The study included men over the age of 65 and found the higher impact movement improved bone density in the hips and legs at a level comparable to gains made by women who took osteoporosis drugs, reaffirming the connection between activity and bone building. As our population uh, ages and people are living longer and longer, uh, osteoporosis is becoming uh, more of a problem as far as fractures go. We see people on a daily basis who have simple falls that other people would otherwise get up from. So giving your bones a workout is more than a leap of faith. It may be the building blocks of a strong future. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.